Alright, so this is the first of those individual matchups I talked about. This first one is going to be uh, Ronnie Stanley versus Jadavion J- 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 Clowney. Now, a lot of people put a lot of stock and, and interest into the PFF grades. And according to PFF, Stanley is one of the better tackles in the game. And I, I do agree with that to a certain extent. But I really don't know how they calculate their numbers. So I don't put a whole lot of stock into PFF. Um, I do know I'm happy Stanley's on our team. I think he's our second best O lineman behind Yonder. I think he has a long, great career. Hopefully, all in Baltimore. But everything ain't always, um, you know, positive around here. And I told you guys a couple of weeks ago when I hit the 2,000 subscribers, I'm always keeping 100 on this channel. So, you know, with that being said, this video is Stanley versus Clowney, and it's not all positive. It's not all positive. Um, and my, this is my thought process going into it, so you can kind of get an idea of what I was thinking, and then the film showed me something different. So I know we're not a great pass rush team, or not pass blocking team. So my initial thought was to go through all the pass plays, and I'm sure Clowney got Stanley on some pass plays. I'm going to put them in a video. But I know we're a great run blocking team. And so I said, then I'm going to come back with the run plays and watch Stanley kind of dominate Clowney on some stuff, which um, it wasn't a lot of run plays where Stanley was blocking Clowney. Really only one that I noticed, and, and you'll see it in the video. But the pass rush uh, wasn't very good. Wasn't very good. And I'm not a bash any other Ravens type player, but I just want to show you the good and the bad. Because a lot of times in my, up under my videos, it says the good, the bad, and the ugly with the Ravens. So this is going to be a little bit of the bad. It's not necessarily the ugly, but a little bit of the bad. And I just want to keep it real. So let's get right into it. Alright, so here's Clown and here's Stanley right here. And this is simply, you know, this would be a run play. Basically inside zone one way, but they're gonna throw the ball the other way. So had this been inside zone, watch this move Stanley, uh Clown and give Stanley. He's going out to block him, set him up outside, swim over. Had this been a run play, stuffed. Has it been a run play, stuffed. Cause he's everybody else is blocking run. So he's just not supposed to let him go like that. Stanley got out athleted by Clowney on this one. Gave him a little outside jab, crossed him over, hit him with the hit him with the arm sweep. Now, what I would like to Stanley have done is when he brought that arm over like that, just killed him right up under there. Just punched him right up under there. Like with the with with the I don't know what the, the proper term is, but just shoot this hand. Right up in there and had him ribs kind of kind of sore, but he didn't because he was off balance. Let Clowney slide inside of him. So had this been a run play, it might have been disastrous. And you know, uh, he might have been able to bounce it and get outside, and it might have worked. But this is not good. This is not good for our you know high rated PFF tackle. And again, not bashing Stanley. Love Stanley. Love what he does. But just you know, just trying to keep it real. Move on to the next play. The result don't really matter. So. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to Patreon.com backslash tally. Let's go on past that. All right, there, let's see where they're at right now. Here's Clowney standing right here. Here's Stanley here. And again, we're not a great pass blocking team, so I expected Clowney to win some of these battles. Hurts his problem going in the route. He slides to him. He's in good position right here. Got out there quick. Look how quick Stanley gets out there. That's the good part about him, real quick feet. Two slides. He gets two slides before uh, Clowney even gets a step. Bam, bam. One step. One time. Bam, bam. Clown is taking one step. Now, square him up. Clown is just so darn athletic. Look at that. He with the same little crossover. Almost like he playing basketball out there. He with a little crossover step. Boop, boop. Get inside. Now, what should happen is, Stanley should vertical set. Should vertical set. And then when Clown goes inside, he should punch the crap out of him down. That's what should happen. 
but he's worried about his quickness and Clown is quick, so I understand what Stanley's you know thinking right now. He's trying to get trying to set that edge so he don't beat him on the edge. But he gave up the inside move. By him ver setting uh laterally instead of vertically, he left the inside gap. Look at the gap. With each set, look at the gap. Look at the gap between look at this gap right here. With each set, watch how wide it gets. One, two, because Bozeman protecting with the stunt. Bozeman Skirr is protecting the stunt in there. Get up that lane. Get up that lane. I'm going to let it run so you can see what happens on the play. It's an incomplete pass because of the pressure. Just again, got to get better pass blocking. Got to get better pass blocking. And seeing this right here, I can understand why so many Ravens fans wanted us to trade for Clowney. This dude is freakishly athletic. Still, freakishly athletic. He basically is untouched right here. Gets it, Lamar. We don't get it out. Luckily, we don't have a set. Move on to the next play. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Again, they're here on the left side. Stanley here. Clowning here. Now, not bad on this one. Not bad. Clowning doesn't give him an inside move, though. Stanley going to set the same way he did on the previous play. Stanley ladder trying to protect the edge. Now, he hit good balance right there. I would like to see his butt a little lower, but great, good balance right there. Now, you just got to drop your hips so you don't get bull rush. Mm -hmm. See, the defense, the defender guy wants to extend his arm so he can see where you're going. Now, he's trying to grab his wrist and get him off of him. But Stanley's strong enough to keep that wrist in place. So, he can't get that wrist off of him. You just got to stop the bull rush. So, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Got a little thing, um, one of my one of my coaches called uh, Ball Me Man. And so that's all Stanley's trying to do, protect himself from the ball, me, and the man. That's all he's trying to do. So not bad. Look, and this ball will come out quick, so it it matters that he gave up um, the bull rush, but it don't because the ball came out. We just don't want him to end up this close to Lamar and he you know, twist the ankle or anything like that. So not a bad job, not a great job, but... He got, you know, kept Clowney off Lamar. Next play. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film, then More Film, or Fruit, Tomatoes, and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt for all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute. All right, so this is going to be a screen. And we got Stanley here, Clowney here. And this play right here, watch the patience. And I know Stanley knows the screen is going over to this side of the field. But watch the patience of his feet. And, and everything against Clowney. Clowney don't know where it's going, so he's straight pass rushing. But the patience here is is, is outstanding by uh, Stanley. Play through. There we go. Just patient. Just patient. Just patient. Just patient punching. Patiently punching. Here you go. Let's watch it. Ball get off. Got out there real quick again. Real quick again. Engaged. Punch. Set, punch, set, get his hands off. Look at that. I missed that one. Got his hands on me. Now get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Great move right there. I missed that at first. Get your hands off me. Punch him again. Great job right there by Stanley. So had it been a regular pass play, I don't think we would have given up a sack on that one. Great job. Then this final play. Again, this is when I came out. So let me look at some run plays. And I know Stanley dominated on some run plays. This is one of the few plays where he actually had to block Clowney, and it uh didn't turn out good. Remember, he been getting those quick sets out there on the pass plays the whole game because of how wide he is. Boom. Tried to quick set again. Didn't work. Hit him with the same little inside move and went and made the tackle. Quick set on. And all this is, this is inside zone left. So he set up good. Set up good. Set up good. Beat him with just beat him with speed. Beat him with speed. Got skinny. He out athlete our best athlete up front. If that makes sense to you. Man, that's 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 good as for a DN. 
He gave up. Cause I'm sure he had a C gap, but he gave it up. But he made the tackle also. That's that's amazing for a defensive end to do that. Now again, Clowney is was one of the better athletes coming out of college to play defensive end, and it kind of showed this game. You know, we overcame the his his good play. We overcame his good play. And there were a bunch of times where Clowney was in here or stunting and we blocked him up and whatnot. So this wasn't all like Clowney dominated the game. These were just five plays and that he, you know, either won or lost against Stanley. So don't don't take don't get me wrong like saying Stanley was trash and Clowney's this great player and make it seem like I'm a Raven hater, because I'm not. I just want to show you the, the the real of the game. Even though we won a game, I'm happy we won a game. Just we can always improve. And this is an off week for them. So they work on, you know, stuff like this to to get better because you don't we're gonna have you know new england's gonna throw the whole kitchen sink at us and so just basically sure up all your fundamentals and be ready for any little tricks that that belichick's gonna throw all right and so to let this play one more time and get out of here just gotta sure this type of stuff up and again it's coach evans this is uh clowny versus stanley uh this is our bye week coming up and uh beautiful sunday morning so before you enjoy your nfl uh Check this video out. Make sure you share it, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, any other individual matchups you may want to see from uh, this week or last week, you know, put them in the comment section. I'll see if I can get to them. But I do know the next video is going to be on Miles Borkin and uh, his plays so far over for the first seven weeks and kind of see what he can do to help us down the stretch run. Uh, salute. <laughs>